Good morning, Red Oak Grove, and to all my Facebook friends and listeners. This is the day the Lord hath made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when he said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this beautiful Sunday morning. Thank you that you have allowed us to join together that we may worship thee in spirit and in truth. It is my prayer now, gracious Father, that the Holy Spirit will come now, rule and reign over our service today. This is your servant's prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. I love to praise his holy name. I love to praise his holy name. I love to praise his holy name. 
praise Him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise Him. Oh, I love to praise Him. friends and family. Our scripture today will be coming from the New Testament book of John. The book of John. <clears throat> It'll be coming from John the 11th chapter, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, John uh, yeah, the, 11th the 11th chapter verses 21. Okay, we'll start at verse 21. I hope you have your Bibles and are preparing to read along with me. John 11. And what we'll do is move on down to the 21st verse. That's where we will begin. Are you there? I hope so. And we shall begin. Verse 21. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus saith unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Well. Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me. Though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? She saith unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. And when she had so said, 
she went her way and called Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, The master is come and calleth for thee. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Now Jesus was not yet come into the town, but was in that place where Martha met him. The Jews then, which were with her in the house, and comforted her, when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, She goeth unto the grave to weep there. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was, and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled, and said, Where have ye laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Verse 25, Jesus wept. Amen. Amen. I have read for you from the 11th uh, chapter of John, uh, verses 21 through 35. Amen. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to your hearts for the hearing of his precious word. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning in the humblest way that we know how. We come first of all to confess our sins. And we want you to wash us thoroughly from all of our iniquities and cleanse us from every stain of sin. We thank you for your shed blood at Calvary that washed us and cleansed us so that we could be redeemed yes. back to the Father. And Father God, we are so thankful that you have brought us safely through another week's journey. Yes, thank you, Lord. Sometimes we were up, yes, sometimes we were down. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of all of that, you still brought us. Yes, thank you, Lord. And we are so grateful and thankful yes, sir. <clears throat> unto you for all that you've done for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you yes. for your loving kindness. Thank you, Lord. And your tender mercy yes, sir. that you have shown toward each one of us. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. For bringing us through seen mm -hmm. and unseen danger. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, God. For making a way out of no way. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, for opening doors that no man can close. Yes, sir. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you, God. Many are sick among us. Mercy. But I realize that just one touch from your divine healing hand can make us whole again. Yes, thank you. Remember all of those who are laying in hospital beds this morning. Yes, sir. Have mercy. Some in the intensive care unit. Mm -hmm. Pray a special prayer for my cousin Delvin Boyd, who's in the Ohio State University Hospital with a breathing yes. problem. But God, I know that if you touch his lungs, yes, sir. he shall recover yes, he will. and be able to breathe again on his own. Pray for every sick person this morning. Yes. Pray, God, that you would ease their pain. Yes, Lord. Pray, God, that you would give them some comfort in the midst of all of their discomfort. Have mercy. Remember all of those who are 
in rest homes and convalescent homes and rehabilitation centers. Pray that your healing virtue will just go yes, around the world. Pray this morning for our president and yes, vice president and Congress and senators that they will do the right thing that will help all of the people. Yes, sir. Pray God that you would change stony hearts and create within each one of them a clean heart yes, yes. and renew the right spirit yes, sir. with each one of them. Help them to be more loving and more caring oh, yes. for the welfare of your people. Yes, sir. Pray, Father God, that you remember the homeless this morning. Lord have mercy. Pray, God, that you would remember our senior citizens, many living alone. Oh, yeah. But it is my prayer that all day and all night your holy angels. Yes, when they camp at their homes and minister yes, to their every need. We pray for those, oh God, who are locked up behind prison walls. Yes, Lord. Pray that their souls will be saved and delivered mm -hmm. from a burning hell. Yes, God. Pray for our young people this morning. So many of our young people have gone astray. Yes, Lord have mercy. So much shooting, so much drive-bys. Pray, God, that you would give them a better self-esteem. Yes, sir. And help them to know that they belong to you. Lord have mercy. Help them, God, to correct their bad attitudes. Yes. Help them to realize that they need you in their lives. Oh, yes. yes. Touch them right now. Touch God. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Pray for every church. Mm -hmm. Planted by your divine hand. Pray for every God called minister today that they will preach the gospel. Oh, yes. In this fullness. And Father God, we just, <laughs> just want to thank you for all that you've done. Thank you, Lord. Because we know every good and perfect gift comes from you. This is your servant's prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. 
song with me. I love you, Lord, today. So I want to encourage everyone to get your shots if you have not. I want to remind everyone that there is a third booster uh -huh. shot now available. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage you to get that third booster if you have not already. Yeah. Please continue to wear your mask. Please continue to do your six feet social distancing and wash your hands often. Mm -hmm. I want to remind you that the monkey pops are still in our midst. There are 420 cases in North Carolina alone. I want to say to all of you who are listening this morning, masks are still required if you plan to attend any of our services at Red Oak Grove Baptist Church. Amen. Your safety is our first priority. I want to wish all of our September babies a very happy, happy birthday today. And I pray that you enjoy many, many more. Amen. Happy birthday. God bless you. I want to say today is a very special day in my life. Well, the Lord has blessed me mm -hmm. to celebrate 58 years yeah. in the gospel ministry today. Uh -huh. And I thank God he has allowed me to serve the Red Oak Grove 
Baptist Church for the last 42 years. All right, now. In Stanhope. Thank you, Lord. North Carolina. Yes. I want everyone to know that's listening this morning mm -hmm. that Red Oak Grove is the best church in the world. Amen. 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 <laughs> and thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah. I also want to thank my loving wife for her support across these many years. Uh -huh. And I want to thank the officers and members of the Red Oak Grove Missionary Baptist Church for your loyal support oh, yes. across the years. I also want to thank all of my Facebook friends for your wonderful words of congratulatory remarks uh -huh. and words of encouragement as I celebrate 58 years yes. in the ministry. I want to say this, that 58 years ago, 1964, the third Sunday in September, uh, I preached my first sermon, and I tell you, I was so nervous, I didn't know what to do. But God brought me through. I preached on that first trial sermon, Patience Has Its Reward, uh -huh. Job 1, 22. In all this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Amen. And I want you to know that I'm rejoicing today in the God of my salvation. He has been so good. And I praise his holy, mighty, matchless name. Amen. I want to encourage everyone to please register to vote if you have not. All elections are important. There are no more off year election. Democracy is being threatened on every hand. Uh -huh. And I want to encourage you to do early voting if you have already registered to vote, please do early voting. I want to congratulate our own Deacon Roger Battle Jr., who was elected yesterday mm -hmm. as Secretary of the North Carolina General Baptist State Convention Layman League Secretary. Congratulations, Deacon Battle, and may God bless you. I know you'll do a great job. Amen. 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 Please continue to pray for our sick and our shut in. Sister Doretha Spates, Sister Dorothy yes. Carpenter, yes. Sister Reba Lucas, Dr. Linda Tabron, yes. Sister Doris Lucas, Sister Sarah Strickland, mm -hmm. Sister Christine Stokes, Sister Lois Langley, yes. and Sister Dorothy Gal Tabron, who spent a couple of days in the uh, Wilson Memorial Hospital, and we pray that Sister Tabron is doing much better this morning. Amen. Please continue to pray for Reverend Roosevelt Winstead, yes. Brother Carl Ray Tabron, Brother Leon Tabron, Brother Joe Payette, Brother Frankie Tony, yes, Brother amen. Malachi Moore, amen. Reverend Matthew Wiley, mm -hmm. Brother LaRue Davis, <laughs> Brother J.C. Morgan, Brother James yes. Stokes, mm -hmm. Reverend Jerry Langley, yes. and please pray a special prayer for my cousin, Delton Boyd in Columbus, Ohio. Uh -huh. First Lady will come down and sing the birthday song. All these years go by fast, don't they? <laughs> but thank God you're still here. Reasonable portion of health and strength. And like me, you can get around sometimes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We want to say happy birthday to you. Come on. A happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. First Lady of the Birthday Song. Let us prepare now to receive the word. First Lady is coming back with the Sermonic Selection. Amen. 
right now. One more time. scripture reading you're hearing St. John 11 chapter verses 21 through 35 I want to lift up the 35th verse for our text and it says Jesus wept this morning I want to preach from the shortest verse in the Bible Jesus wept. Yes. As a boy, I remember when I was in Sunday school and we had to say a Bible verse. <laughs> Everybody would always like beat me saying that verse. I did not understand that verse <laughs> like I do 76 years later. My brothers and my sisters, this, this short verse mm -hmm. is packed yes, with a divine truth. Amen. No gospel has a higher Christology, mm -hmm. the study of Christ, than the gospel of John. Well. Instead of being born to Mary, John's Gospels lets us know Christ existed eternally. Amen. Upon meeting someone for the first time, mm -hmm. he knows their thoughts mm -hmm. before they do. Mm -hmm. Face to face with his own crucifixion on the cross, mm -hmm. he says, no man takes my life. Yes. I give it freely. Amen. Although Jesus is located in time and space, mm -hmm. he hovers just above the fray in his perfection. His feet never quite touching the ground well. of embodied experience. Uh -huh. But in our text for the morning, yeah. the 11th chapter of John, mm -hmm. Jesus had just received word that one of his best friends uh -huh. is nearing the end. Yes. And you would think, as any good friend would do, Jesus would stop everything and rush uh -huh. to the bedside mm -hmm. of his dying friend. Yes. But the Bible makes it clear he did not rush to Bethany. No, he didn't. He stayed away mm -hmm. for a few days. Yes. By the time he does arrive in Bethany, four days later, mm -hmm. Mary and Martha meet him outside the cemetery with the tragic news, yeah. our brother is dead. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. The text says, when Jesus therefore saw her weeping, mm -hmm. talking about Mary, mm -hmm. yeah. and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, mm -hmm. he groaned in the spirit, yes, he did. and was troubled, uh -huh. and said, where have you laid him? Have you laid him? They said unto him, Lord, mm -hmm. come and see. Yes. And our text in verse 35 says, Jesus wept. Yes, amen. The shortest verse in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But it is the most profound verse mm -hmm. in the scriptures. Yes. Jesus wept. Mm -hmm. With all of the emphasis on Jesus elsewhere in the Bible, uh -huh. why would John include this verse about Jesus? Jesus wept. Yes. 
Yes. Can you imagine the face of Jesus uh -huh. moist with his own tears? Yes, Lord. Are they tears of weakness or strength, mm -hmm. fear or compassion? Well, matter of fact, the Bible records three different times mm -hmm. Jesus cried. Yes, sir. Number one, he cried at Lazarus' grave. Yes, he, yes. He wept yes. for a hurting family. Yes, he did. He cried at Jerusalem. Yes. He wept uh -huh. for a lost city. Yes, he did. And thirdly, he wept in the garden. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. He wept for a sin cursed world. Yes, he did. Jesus wept after speaking with Lazarus' grieving sister Martha and Mary. Uh -huh. and all the Jews who came with them. And we all understand their tears. But the point we miss while we are crying, uh -huh. Jesus has come to Bethany to raise Lazarus from the dead. All right. Jesus knew in a few short minutes uh -huh. all this weeping would turn to astonished joy. Yes. And I know one would think uh -huh. that Jesus could be confident, joyful, mm -hmm. calm in that storm of sorrow. Mm -hmm. But Jesus was greatly troubled. And the text says he wept. Yes. For many years, I often wondered why Jesus wept. And then the Holy Spirit uh -huh. revealed to me well, it was his deep compassion. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. He felt for those who are suffering. Yes, sir. It is true. Yes, sir. Jesus yes, sir. did let Lazarus die. Uh huh. He delayed his coming. Yeah. When he got the news. Yes, he did. We all know he could have healed Lazarus by remote control. Well. Like he did the centurion servant. Yes. But he didn't. All right, now. And for a good reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lamentation 333 says, For he doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like in Lazarus' case, it requires affliction and grief. Mama. Jesus does not delight in affliction All right. and grief. Oh, oh no. No. Jesus is sympathetic. Yes, yes, he Jesus is. wept. Mm -hmm. It's the shortest verse, but it speaks volumes uh -huh. to the saints in 2022. Yes. People wonder why Jesus wept. And mm -hmm. some say because Lazarus was his friend. Yes. And that may be true. But Jesus was fully human uh -huh. and experienced grief, just like you and I. Uh -huh. Jesus had already told Martha he planned to resurrect Lazarus. The key to unlocking verse 35 is found in verse 33. Uh -huh. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit yes. and was troubled. Uh -huh. That verse lets us know it wasn't the death of his friend, but it was the sorrow and grief. Yes. He saw Mary's face uh -huh. and all those who were with her. Yes, sir. Jesus was overcome with emotions. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says he wept. Yes. Hebrews 4.15 says, For we have not an high priest, mm -hmm. which cannot be touched <clears throat> with the feelings of our infirmities. Yes but was in all points tempted, yes. like as we are yet without sin. I've come to tell you, Red Oak and all my listeners this morning, that Jesus understands your pain. Mm -hmm. yes. He knows your every pain. He knows your every problem. But the good news I brought you this morning, Red Oak, our high priest can be touched. Amen. Jesus is moved. By the things we go through. When you care about someone. Yes. When they hurt. 
you hurt. Mm -hmm. In our text for today, Jesus weeping shows he truly cares about us. Yes. God never takes our plane lightly. If he knows, even when he knows, he will restore us. Yes, sir. More than everything we have lost. As I close this morning, Jesus wants you to know no matter what you're going through, mm -hmm. yes. he will be with you. Yeah. Yes, he, will. he also wept because of their lack of faith. He told Martha and Mary, you will see your brother again. Yes, sir. They said, it's been four days and his body is probably beginning to rot. They said, I know we'll see him again at the resurrection. And I always like to paraphrase here. And I like to always say, Jesus said to Mary Martha, you don't know who you're talking to. Yes, sir. I am yes. the resurrection and the life. Uh -huh. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Yes. Church, that's good news for us this morning. Their lack of faith made Jesus weep. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently yes, seek is. his faith. Yes, he is. Our faith leads to our salvation. Yes, sir. It leads to our peace. And it leads to our joy. Oh, yeah. The good news from the text, no one stays in the grave forever. Uh -huh. In this life, mm -hmm. we have to cry sometimes. Yes, yes. There's a song that says, trouble in my way. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I have to cry sometimes. But that's all right. Yes. Because I know Jesus uh -huh. will fix it after a while. Yes. I want to tell you that if you can endure the long night of weeping, one of these mornings, Amen. God shall wipe Amen. away all tears Amen. from your eyes. Yes, I close with him, uh -huh. number 421. Yes. Though the clouds may hover us, yes. there's a bright yes, and golden ray. Yes. Tears a promise uh -huh. that in heaven, yes, God uh -huh. shall wipe away all tears. The second verse says, no more sorrow, no more weeping. Peace and joy shall hold full sway. For beside life crystal river, God shall wipe all tears away. The last verse says, oh the joy of meeting Jesus, mortal tongue cannot portray, but we know when we behold him, God shall wipe all tears away, when we reach, I said when we reach, I said when we reach, that blessed homeland, where Tis everlasting day on that bright eternal morning. God shall wipe away all our tears. I want to tell you, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I don't care what you're going through. Jesus knows all about it. And Jesus is concerned about your trouble. And if Jesus wept for Martha and Mary, he weeps for you when you're going through your struggle. I want to tell you he promised. I said he promised never to leave you. I know sometimes when we're going through stuff, we feel all alone. And we feel that Jesus has forgotten all about us. But you got to hold on to the word of his promise. For he promised never, 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 never to leave us alone. He even told us when your father and your mother forsake you, he said, I 
will take you up. But I'm so glad this morning that if you trust Jesus, he will wipe away every tear. Be not dismayed, but there'll be time. God will, I wish I had one witness, God will take care of you through every day, all the way. He will, I said he will take care of you. God will, I said God will. Not the doctor will, God will. Not your job will, but God will. Not your family will, but God will. Take care of you. And all you got to do is stay beneath his wing and let love abide. And God will take care of you. Is there one this morning out of the ark of safety? I invite you to come to Jesus. He'll dry away your tears. He'll save you. Yes, he will. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus right now. That one today. Why don't you come? Amen. Amen. I thank God for the words from Pastor Woodhouse this morning. Jesus wept. He showed that he cared. Oh, yes. He showed his compassion and his love. And it's still there. Yes. He still yes. cares. Yes, he does. He's still compassionate. Yes, he and he does love you. Amen. Amen. He loves us all. Amen. Why don't you come to him? Yes, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. While you're yet breathing, while you still have time. Yes. Come on to Jesus while you have time. Oh, yes.
music. Thank Sister Tierra Evans for the instrumental music. And may God richly bless each one of you. Let us receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon each one of you and give you peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. Yeah.